Good morning. Ask any athlete what their favorite part of their sport is. Some might say the competition. Others might say the friendship. Both of these stand true for Special Olympic athletes, and they're getting a space to combine them thanks to a group of volunteers facing challenges of their own. Nail by nail, these walls are going up to give Special Olympic athletes in our area a new home for crafting their skills. To have a place where they can gather together, be accepted, celebrate each other, reveal the champion from within, and feel safe and accepted and not judged is so tremendously important for the population we serve. And the hands that are helping build it are facing adversity of their own. Ultimately, they've just sat in prison for five, six years before they generally come to us. We do have people that are upwards of 15 years, so it, you know, in and out of prison during that time. Residents of Nampa's Community Reentry Center volunteer at various nonprofits in our area. This group of residents volunteered their time to help Special Olympics Idaho build a training center for their athletes. Um, we've had different, uh, we have different stories where we feel that we've taken from the community and we wanted to start giving those things back. Lenny Williams is a resident of Nampa CRC and says community service has helped change his life for the better. Um, it's nice for guys like us because we get an opportunity to get out, give back a little bit to the community. Uh, uh, one of the things that spoke to me about this particular program was the strength of the athletes. I mean, just uh, their dedication through adversity is something that uh, we can all get behind. And according to Nampa CRC, these projects are crucial for helping the men re-enter society for good by learning social skills and sharpening their trade skills. The majority of our guys that get out after doing these projects do really well. So we actually see a, a lowering of recidivism. Once construction completes, all Special Olympics athletes can use the training center and the Nampa CRC residents like Lenny can continue building their place back in society. Um, I think it's more important that people step out if they have it in their heart to service or volunteer, it's out there for them. Uh, it's easy to get a hold of. If they'd let guys from Nampa CRC come out and help, um, I'm sure they'd appreciate the assistance of anyone else. Olympics Idaho hopes to have the facility complete by the end of the year so athletes can start training in it for their Special Olympic Games coming up here in March.